Hello, I'm Scott from Digital Puppet and this is a video to show you how you can make a watch cycle for your character really easily and quickly. So first of all, you've got your character made, it's all rigged up. A few little things to check first. Go into rig mode and make sure you've got your limo K added because it is not done automatically. So once your character is all ready, um, find this little icon here and press plus and make sure you've got limo K checked and I'm not going to go into how to rig up Limoiko because there's already tutorials about that. I recommend checking out OK Samurai's um, Limoiko video. So you want to make sure that everything is tagged, your ankles, knees, neck, all that malarkey. And then you'll be able to see that your character is, you know, like the telltale sign that everything is working. The knees are bending, the arms aren't stretching out weirdly. Um, Yep, everything's looking fine there. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into rig mode. And, oh, sorry, and I'm totally forgetting, you got your limo okay added. Also, make sure you got your walk behaviour added as well. And for your walk behaviour, um, there's a few different things you can add in, but for the moment, I'm going to have it on left and right arrow keys. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into rig mode. And we're going to select our puppet and we're going to duplicate it twice. One, two. And we're going to name these left and right. So, first one we're going to call right. And then we're going to go over to the tags section in properties and we're going to change that from frontal to left quarter and then we're going to go into the other uh, duplicated puppet we're going to call that one left and again we're going to go over to tags and we're going to change that from front up to right quarter actually i should call these right and left character animator has this thing where left and right is set up from the character's perspective but then when you come over to the tags, it's the other way around. But anyway, just follow me on this. So, and what we're going to do with this left one is we're then going to go up to here. And we're going to go to X scale. And we're going to change that from 100 to a minus 100. And that is going to flip your character around. Um, then, let's see if this works. We're going to go back into record mode to test it out. Right, so let's just check our settings. Uh, where's walk? There we go. Left and right, we've got walk star. Right, I'm going to press left and right on the keyboard. Fingers crossed, it works. There we go. And then I'm going to go the other way. Now, the only thing you've got to remember for this quick setup is that because you flip the axis, the um, x-axis, when you're walking in the flip way, your head position is still rigged up for the other way. So, all you got to do is that when you're going that way, pretend you're still moving that way when you're doing the head movement. Um, but this is a really, really fast way of setting it up because the traditional way of setting up a warp cycle would be to actually duplicate all them layers in Photoshop. So you would have made your frontal pose and then in Photoshop you would have doubled it and done your position for walking in one direction and then doubled it again and have your position for walking in the other direction. And if you're anything like me, your character might have loads and loads of expressions and then each time you're doubling it up, you're making your puppet fall larger and larger and it can make it a bit laggy where this is all running after one file and so it keeps everything nice and quick. Anyway, I know our tutorials can sometimes beat around the bush and go on for ages. I just want to get straight to the point and show you how you can set up a warp cycle super fast, job done, hope it helps.